Hello and welcome, Aquarius. You are watching Thomas' Tower readings with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your June 2023 general reading. Please, please, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. If that's all too much, there is a super thank button. Cling and you can donate there, if that makes sense. <laughs> In any case, are you ready? What we're going to do here, Aquarians, we will divide the reading in sections, so it's actually easier to understand it, if that makes sense. So we will look at the overall energy for the month of June 2023 for the sign of Aquarius. Before we then go into your emotional core, your emotional core is oftentimes about whether or not there is some healing that needs to happen, whether there's love coming in, uh, or how to go about relationship, if that makes sense, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of June 2023 for your sign Aquarius. With no further ado, let's have a look at your um, overlay for the months of June. <laughs> well, for the over energy, you have the grey wolf. Whatever is happening to you in June, things only work for you when you are number one, when you are in charge, when you call the shots, when nobody else is trying to piss you off for their own gain. Really, really important. Being nice, trying to keep the peace is very Aquarian. Right? I mean, that's what you do. You're the water bearer. You're the giver. At the same time, realizing when that approach doesn't really work is important. And the overall energy for the month of June, Aquarius, is telling you that the only way this month works is by you being upfront about stuff. Take it or leave it. Right? Whatever happens, happens. That sort of energy. Um, but... The point here is, or the, the main energy here is, that trying to keep the peace, or maybe, you know, paint the nicer picture when, when, when things are really bad, that kind of stuff, only goes so far. Don't do it in June, it's not working. Alright, so, that's that. Now let's have a look at the emotional core for Aquarius in the month of June. I cannot believe we're in the sixth month, half a year already through. Amazing. So when it comes to your emotional core, you have the dove. And what that means is that the dove is one of those birds that has 158 degree vision, right? So <laughs> when you ever heard that story like, oh, he's got eyes on the back of his, of his head, that's the kind of thing. The point is, when it comes to your emotional core, nothing escapes you this month, right? Therefore, you will be aware of how you truly feel. And this is your job in June. Pay attention to your emotions, your pure emotions. In the relationship I'm in, am I really feeling loved? Is this a relationship that works, um, but there are conditions like, oh, we only see each other twice a, twice, a, twice a week, and if I really could choose freely, would I choose that sort of setting? So this is about reflecting... Um, how much time you would want someone to spend with you rather than the time they make for you, if that makes sense, right? Um, so that is important. That is the over energy. Uh, sorry, that is the um, your emotional core is about asking yourself, am I being fulfilled when it comes to, to my love life? Equally, if you are manifesting a new beginning, if you feel like, yeah, I'm opening up again. I mean, it's June, right? Better weather, nice to be outside, you meet more people, right? You do the math. Point here is not to settle for less, even if you feel like, well, there's not much going on here and this, this guy or this lady is nice, that kind of stuff. Don't settle for less. Right? Look at what you really feel as the bare minimum your soul would want from a relationship and go for that, for just that. And if you are in a relationship and you're not getting um, what you really wish you could get um then you know right, uh, obviously communication is important in a relationship you know say it see where it goes right point they're making is don't settle for less 
right? Make sure you are being understood when you make your points so that change can actually happen. Okay, that was your emotional core, dear Aquarians. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings with myself, Thomas Dianak. This is your June 2023 general reading. Please, please, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Moving on now to opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of June 2023. <laughs> Opportunities are not massive. In fact, you have the turtle and the badger. And the turtle obviously is saying to you, right, yeah, you may have enough, you may you may go, like, oh, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. And that's fine. But the turtle is saying what will not happen very likely in June is a new opening coming to you and immediately you can jump, right? So you can plan your exit, you can look at new things, but they're not quite ready to be engaged with, if that makes sense this month. So it's not that I think you have to bite your time, it's just understanding that if you really had enough, have enough um, being impulsive, doesn't go anywhere this month, right? So, so uh, it's better to plan your next move than just being frustrated about what's happening here and then just say like, ah, oh, you know, feck it, I'm off, that kind of stuff. Doesn't quite work because the badger is saying uh, by default, um, you, you, you are oftentimes misunderstood. So when it comes to new opportunities, right, are you saying the right things? Are you, are you expressing what it is you really could do or, or want to do to whoever it is you're speaking to and even to your guides? Right? Do you actually know what you want? Pay attention to what is it that isn't working. If I could choose freely, what would I choose? And then manifest that. Right? Again, nothing is ever as easy as the guides make it sound. But conceptually, it makes a lot of sense. Aquarians, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. See you all next month. Bye bye.